Well, hello everybody! Hi, welcome along to today's live edition of Tom Plays Games. I'm super excited because it's new series time! Oh, this happens once in a blue moon, or should that be a dark moon? I don't know. Uh, no, uh, today we are hopping on the GameCube and uh, for the first time I've had to change the disc in uh, the uh, GameCube for a while. Uh, for the last couple of years almost we've been playing the Paper Mario uh, game Thousand Year Door on the GameCube but now I've had to pop another disc in because we're going to be playing uh, Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube. Super excited to play this. Um, we uh, we finished, what did we finish a couple of weeks ago? Um, what did we finish? We finished a game and then I was like oh yeah time to start a new one uh, and uh, I, chose, uh, I chose this Luigi's Mansion and it's super good timing because it's Halloween tonight 31st of October so uh, super excited for this. 
Um, we've got uh, Logan and Super Pikmin Bros in the chat already. Logan is super excited for this one, so uh, very good. <laughs> hopefully, um, it uh, hopefully it fares well. It's what 20 years since this game came out originally on the GameCube, and I remember it being like one of the launch titles and being so amazed by how wicked the graphics were. Will they hold up after 20 years? We'll find out as we play it uh, for a full-on series. Um, we'll see. We'll find out. Find out all together. Very good. Oh, Lost Vikings 2. That's what we finished the other week, wasn't it? So yes, this is picking up in that strand. Um, right. If you're watching live today, just like uh, we've already got in the chat, you can jump in the chat too. Chat, uh, tap that live chat button and uh, say hi. Let me know that you're out there today. Let me know what you think of today's stream. Uh, I'll keep my BDI on the chat throughout today's episode and read out some messages. Of course, if you enjoy things as well, don't forget to tap that thumbs up to give this video a like and get subscribed to the channel for more like this. I sit here most days, quarter past five, Monday to Friday. Of course, if you turn on your notifications, get that little bell tapped, and then you get the little pop-up reminder to pop up and remind you whenever I go live. And uh, Logan, you raise a really interesting point. Yeah, what if a kid knocks on my door trick or treating? <laughs> so the easy answer to that is I put the blinds on so nobody can see I'm in and um, tough. I'll just have to have my egg out, uh, my house egged, won't I, or whatever the kids do these days. I don't know. We'll see. Fingers crossed it won't happen. It might do though. Who knows? Right. Uh, let's get into it. Um, you can tell this is my original GameCube because I've, uh, just like on Paper Mario, I've still got a save file live on it. Let's have a little look, shall we? <laughs> yes! That one! I had 7.275 million gold! Wow, is this game... This is a bit like um, in Wario Land, isn't it? Where you get a different ending depending on how much treasure and how much money you've collected over time. So, uh, we won't play that one. We won't play that one. Oh. <laughs> Oh, we'll have to start. We'll, start, we'll erase that. Hang on, then. We'll erase that. Before we do, though, let's have a look at the opening animation on the title screen. <gasps> this is. I remember, this was possibly like the first game most people got for their GameCubes. Coming from like N64 days to this. Oh. Uh, I think it plays a little animation, doesn't it? So it's, uh, I think it, it neatly kind of uh, sums up the intro to the game. Let's play it out. Oh, hi, James. Uh, James says, don't get spooked. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Spooky! Uh, so Luigi happens to be walking through this pleasant wood on his way to his mansion that he's won in some kind of competition. And there it is. I think this gets repeated in the actual game intro. And, uh... Oh. Nasty little ravens. <laughs> oh, I'm scared already. Hello? Oh, this was, uh, this was in the Mario movie trailer, wasn't it? There was, like, a bit of a kind of, uh pastiche of that in the Mario movie trailer. Oh, excited. Right, let's go. Let's um, erase that one and let's start a new game. Excited. Uh, Super Pikmin and Bros says, I know a lot about this game if you need help. Probably. <laughs> uh, Logan says, uh, the ending depends on your quid at the end. Yes, that makes sense. And then uh, Oliver's asking, is this an Nintendo 3DS? No, it's the GameCube version. The OG. Oh, we're watching the intro again. <laughs> well, let's watch it again proper this time. Spooky. Hmm. Did I just make it up that he won this in a competition? Or is it in the manual, maybe? There used to be loads of stuff in the manual, didn't there? For games. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, there is. There's a whole thing here. One day, Luigi received an unexpected message. Congratulations, you've won a huge mansion. Naturally, Luigi got very excited and called his brother, Mario. Mario? It's -a me, Luigi. I want myself a big mansion. Meet me there and we'll celebrate. What do you say? Uh, after spearing to his brother, 
Uh, Luigi tried to follow the map to his new mansion, however the night was dark and he became hopelessly lost in an eerie forest along the way. Finally, he came upon a gloomy mansion on the edge of the woods. According to the map, this mansion seemed to be the one Luigi was looking for. As soon as Luigi set foot in the mansion, he started to feel nervous. Mario, who should have arrived first, was nowhere to be seen. Not only that, but there were ghosts in the mansion. <gasps> Spoilers. Um, yeah, hang on a minute. I think I can't read the next bit because it hasn't happened yet. We've got to get into the game. Um, so, we can walk around the mansion. Uh, what do we do? We can't, obviously can't go through that door. It's got thorns in it. And we've only got a torch at this point, haven't we? Actually, we can't do anything other than go up the stairs, I don't think. Mario! <laughs> oh yeah, that's my favorite bit. Mario! Mario! <laughs> uh, oh, we can go through this door, can't we? Oh, this door? Let's go through this door. Oh, we can't go through that door. This door. What? Hang on a minute. Well, where are, we, where are we supposed to go? Like, bang into the walls. No, you can't go through there, Luigi. We tried it. Um. Oh. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, there's a key. assume it's for the door that's uh, just been mysteriously indicated to here. Oh my god, it's so spooky. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got a lot in common with Luigi when it comes to the spooky things. Um, <laughs> we're in the parlour. Oh! So and so. Too bad, Egad. Ouch. Oh, I should take a lot of knocks in this line of work. I'm getting too old for this ghost catching tomfoolery. Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Professor Egad. At uh, this house, I swear, it seems to have more ghosts every day. What's a young fella like you doing around here, anyway? Anywho, even. Hey, oh, more ghosts. Uh oh, this looks a little ugly. Uh, Alright, youngster, look lively. Follow me post haste. Uh, so we're in Egad's lab. So your name's Luigi. I think our paths were destined to cross. Well met, Luigi. Uh, where's this, you ask? Why, these cozy quarters are where I do my ghost studying. Professor Egad's Ghost Research Laboratory, the lab. Uh, if you're uh, of a shortening line, uh, you've won this mansion in a contest you didn't even enter. Sounds pretty fishy to me. So you believe the mansion actually exists then? Strange. I've been living here since I was a lad of 20 or so. And I'll tell you, that mansion appeared just a few days ago. The spirits have fooled you. I don't know if it's a dream, an illusion, or what. Um, uh, but I surely wouldn't be too happy winning a haunted house. Uh, now that I get a look at you, I just recalled a guy with a red hat, kind of like yours, went up to the mansion without even stopping to chat, and he never returned. Was he a dream too? What? That guy was your brother? Oh no, that's horrible. Uh, he wouldn't stand a chance against those ghosts without my help. You have to go after him. Here's the plan. I'll teach you to deal with ghosts so you can rescue your brother, Luigi. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. Uh, so right, controls. We've got standard or sidestep mode. Oh, we'll go standard. So, um, uh, GameCube controller obviously. So R, suck the things up with a vacuum. Z for inventory. Uh, y to check a map. X to search with the Game Boy Horror. Oh, I remember that. Um, and then examine open door with A, flashlight on and off with B, and then, yeah, C-Stick. So, like, the C-Stick was, like, brand new in this game, wasn't it? Nobody had used a C-Stick before. Um, so we used that to change the location Luigi faces and move Luigi with the left stick. Oh, shoot out fire, water, or ice. Could you do that in this game? Must be able to. Uh, so that's the vacuum cleaner I engineered to catch ghosts. I call it, this is genius, the Poltergust 3000. It can suck up all kinds of things. Let her rip. Use the R button to vacuum and the C stick to change your direction. Awesome. Up and down, inverted. That's fine, we can do that. Uh, no matter how strong you think your brother is, ghosts are mysterious beings. They can't be caught using conventional means. So you'd better use this. It's the only way to foil them. Uh, this is the only thing they fear. Or something to that effect. <laughs> uh, how's about we start your training? Ghosts seem to like darkness and they avoid the light. So if you hit them with a flashlight beam all of a sudden, you can stun them momentarily and then it's vacuuming time. Uh, when you see your chance, hold down the R button and tilt uh, the control stick in the opposite direction. Yes, like a tug of war. Just give it a try and you'll learn more that way than just listening to me yap about it. So, oh, hang on a minute. Right, so I turn the... Remember, as soon as you see a ghost's heart, that's your chance to vacuum them up. So, what do I turn the thing off? That's the beast. Uh, when that surprise ghost top appears, vacuum it with the R button and the control stick. Tilt the control stick in the direction opposite the ghost. Oh, hang on, we've got another one. <laughs> ah, come here, you. Uh, yeah, we've got that. Opposite direction, repeatedly for best results. You have to get as close as you can before flashing the light. Surprise them with the light when they get close. Pow, pow. Uh, the more the better. Can I get two and one? No. Uh, hey kid, shape up. You can't go lucky for your brother the way you're carrying on. What? Am I not doing good? Oh my God, there's loads. Ah! <laughs> He's so slow. No, multiple. Come on. Yes. Two and one. Oh, we lost a bit of help. Uh, catching goats means using the flashlight and the Polska 3000 as a team. You get me, young fella. That'll do. <laughs> Cheers for the vote of confidence. <laughs> How many did we get? We got eight yowzers. Uh, I'd say you're ready to look for your brother now. Go on then. Uh, looks like you worked up quite a sweat there. How about a little cool down in the gallery? I'm quite proud of it, you know. Uh, I'm all right. We don't need to see the gallery, do we? Uh, you're not interested. No, soz, sozzy gad. Right, let's go. Let's go to the mansion then. Careful now. Um. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> he's like, he's not coming back. Uh, Logan says, if you wait on the control screen for four minutes, an Easter egg happens. A fun little song. Oh, a toad! Hoo hoo hoo! Where did you go, Mario? Where? Where? Luigi? It's Luigi! You finally made it! Oh joy! Thank goodness! Well, me, well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. He left when he heard that you'd won a mansion, and he never returned. Then, when I arrived here, the mansion was full of ghosts, and I didn't see Mario anywhere, and I kind of freaked out a little, and I didn't know what to do. It's been awful. Please, 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 you have to help me find Mario. 
If he doesn't get back, you have no idea how upset the princess will be. She'll flip. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> oh, yeah. Leave it to me. Uh, thanks, Luigi. You made my dark and stormy night. <gasps> oh, I wish I could do something to help you. Wait, I've got it. At least let me do this. Oh, he's a save toad. Let's save. I feel we're going to be seeing toad quite a lot. Uh, talk to me for help anytime. Right. So, oh yeah, the, the Game Boy Horror. I totally remember this. This is actually the Game Boy Horror. How do I get that up? Um, <laughs> this this reminds me, you know, when we play Game Boy games on the channel, this is like uh, this is like the little setup we have when we play Game Boy games on the channel, isn't it? Literally. Um, right, this is our map, which I remember finding such a unique little um, feature of the game that the map is on a Game Boy Horror. Um, as opposed to a Game Boy Color. So, I think we've got to go back upstairs, back into the room where we found Egad, and we got to head to that room, and uh, now we've got the Poltergeist 3000. Now, assuming we can take out those ghosts, let's go! Although, before we do that, let's suck up this. Look at that, there's a mirror! Was this because we were supposed to be so amazed by the fact that the GameCube could handle mirrors? I don't know. Anyway, move on. Do, 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 do. Oh, hang on, there's coins everywhere. Now, I am a little bit, you know, I am a little bit of a completionist in uh, most games, so I do like to, like, suck up everything I can find. <gasps> like, all the tablecloths. <laughs> so, the Game Boy Horror, when it's not acting as a map, is like an indicator for how much treasure we found, isn't it? Counting all of our coins and notes and uh, gold bars. Are we... What are we looking for in here? Oh, I'll call the money. Is there, um... You see, oh, this door's locked. So there must be a key in here. Oh, we ain't getting in there, aren't we? Oh, is there a, is there a ghost in here? Is it in the cupboard? <gasps> oh! Oh no, it's just a heart. Mario. Oh, I know. <laughs> yes! It's always the candles, isn't it? Uh, who put out my candles? You, Mr. Lime Green! <gasps> well, dark rooms are dangerous around here, yes. They love the dark, and now they will get you. And now you're in for it. Uh -huh. Just like little red cap before you. May you wander lost in the darkness forever. Are you afraid of the dark, little man? Are you? Here they are now. <gasps> this is the game that made vacuuming fun. Oh. <laughs> Oh, damn it, I missed it. Uh, I'm so gonna scream on this whole series, aren't I? Like a quivering wreck. There you go. Oh, damn it. Gotta practice my uh, flashlight use. There we go. All done. Lights on. Lights go on when all the ghosts have gone, don't they? And, uh, yeah, you make a good point, Logan, Mario. that the items can all be interacted with, can't they, to get Mario. extra things. Yeah. There we go, there's a key. <laughs> and that key opens up this door. Oh, that's handy, isn't it? Yeah, the, the Game Boy Horror shows us which doors are opened by the keys that we get. <laughs> Let's go in here. Oh, so thirsty. Opens it with such trepidation. Oh, we're locked in here. Oh, that's a good, uh, that's a good hint now, Logan. Remember to suck the chandeliers. Oh! Oh, damn it! No! Come here, you! 
<laughs> oh, it's a pink one. There were double. I don't really like spooky things. <laughs> I don't know why I'm playing this. <laughs> no, this has been on like the list of games I need to play on the channel for ages. And uh, when a, when an availability came up just before Halloween, I thought, no, we got to we got to start playing this because um I'm really excited about getting a chance to play the Switch version as well, Luigi's Mansion Three, at some point in the future. Uh, yeah, chandeliers. Who hides money in chandeliers? That's just weird. Don't get it. Nothing in that one. Oh! And a gold bar. Nice. Through here. <laughs> the wardrobe room. <laughs> Oh my god, a green one. Ah! Oh, no! Ah! Oh, I missed that one. Oh, he's there. He's there. He's eating a banana. Oh, he's throwing bananas everywhere. We've got to be careful that we don't slip on the bananas then, haven't we? Can we suck the bananas up to get rid of them? Yes. Ghost. Oh, got me in the corner here. Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah, let's interact with the wardrobe. Oh, there he is. Yes. All the money! It's raining money. Oh. You even have to put up a fight on that one. Mario! <laughs> that gets me every time. Just like. Ah! Just like randomly calling out for Mario! Um, oh, there's a key up there. I just spotted it on top of the, um, clothes. Oh, right, okay. That's for the other room in the hallway, then. So we've got to head back there. Uh, there does appear to be another room just off to the side here, though, doesn't there? If there's anything juicy in that. Can we uh, get any more freebies out here? Nothing in the chandelier. Coat stand. <laughs> Mario! Oh, yeah. No, nothing. Uh, what's in here then? Oh, it's a little balcony with a toad! <laughs> Mario, where are you? <laughs> Luigi, Luigi, how lucky that you found me. I feel so much better now. Uh, please, please, please save Mario. I looked everywhere. I can't find him. Where is he? Oh, yeah. Sure. Okay, is that, is that all we get for doing this? Nothing from these? No? Okay. Uh, can I save the game at least? Thanks. It's going well. <laughs> do, 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 do. Am I right in thinking that um, hmm. we don't bank the money? until we, like, get back to the lab. Mm -hmm. So if we game overed, we'd lose the money. I think that's the thing. Mm. I don't know, actually. It might not be. Um, oh, hang on. Mm -hmm. <gasps> hey, it's Egad on our Game Boy Horror. Uh, hold up a sec, Luigi. It's me, Professor Egad. I detect spirits stronger than we've uh, yet seen lurking ahead. 
think it must be some of those escaped gallery ghosts. You should know that they're really different from the other ghosts you've seen so far. Uh, they don't show their hearts very easily. No, not at all. Uh, when you find one, you should first use the X button uh, to search for its heart for clues. Sometimes you can learn the best way to surprise them. Well, Luigi, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Thanks. I haven't played this game in years. I played. Uh, I have played Luigi's Mansion Three when it came out, uh, but that was uh, that was a few years ago now, wasn't it? So um, I really don't remember much about this game, apart from the scary ghosts. Uh, I can hear a rat. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, what? I can't do anything with them. Okay, fair enough. Uh, there's loads of doors in here. Um, we need to check the um, we need to check the map, don't we? Uh, they're all locked, bar the first one that we came to. Oh, hang on a minute. Yeah, good point. Should we be using the... Because wasn't... Didn't he say something about the ghosts don't show their hearts in this section? Where are you? I can't even see them. Or that. Oh. Hey, come here, you. No. no maybe I can't use this, though. Oh, 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 you swine. The little blue one just got me. Oh, I'll come back to that in a minute. Right, um... Hang on a minute, there's more doors here than... There's more doors here than there were on the map. Surely. The first door, this door. Yeah. <gasps> study. Oh. Hello. Um. Oh, there look. Well, I sure can't read that from here. Oh, we're too far away. Ho, 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 ho. Is it Santa? Uh, go ahead, try to find me. I can see you, but you cannot see me. Ho, 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 ho. I mean, I can see you. Go ahead, try to find me. I can see you, but you cannot see me. Oh, my God. <laughs> what does it mean? Um... Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, we'll have some money before we go anywhere else. Do I have to put fire out? Oh! When he yawned! I was dropping pearls everywhere. Oh, oh no, is that, is that a poisonous mushroom or something? Get him in there, right, nice. Uh, let's get these pearls, I think these are uh, also add to the treasure counter. And a key, obviously. Uh, it's going to tell me which room that's for. The one at the far end, right. I think this must be some fake doors going on in that corridor. That old trope. Uh, there is a book. <laughs> there is a book called Darkness Is Their Cheese. Will you read it? Yes. Uh, oh, ghost mice are drawn to darkness as real mice are drawn to cheese. In the dark, they shine gold with contentment. I must try to get close to one before the lights come back on. Or Mr. Parmesan. Uh, you found Egad's Guide to Ghosts. Will you read it? Yeah. Uh, dear readers, we've all had trouble with ghosts who aren't really easily surprised, right? They have all sorts of ways to protect themselves from the light. What would you do, bright folks, when in a fix with one of these stubborn ghouls? Well, sir, I'd first look for an opening, a way to catch them off guard and unsettle them. When a ghost is surprised and shows you its heart, 
that's your chance to catch the little bugger. I tell you, I've caught dozens of ghost sites just like this. So that's uh, obviously when this one yawned, he showed his heart, didn't he? So that must be what that one means in this one. Book of Riddles. Mysteries appear wherever people turn, but turning away from them solves nothing. Instead of turning away, turn to the side and look at the mystery from a different view. A way will surely open. Turn to the side. Does that mean by using the Game Boy Horror to look at things, maybe? I don't know. Um, more money. <laughs> uh, let's... Um, Let's go into that room and uh, see where that thing is. Oh, yeah, hang on. How do we... Oh, there we go. Oh, hang on. Down. <laughs> but what does... I don't understand what sucking these mice up does. What's it doing for me? <laughs> so let's do... Oh. I'll tell you what's throwing me, the uh, inverted C-stick controls. Um, right, I'm guessing some of these are fake doors. And I think, yeah, I think we can tell by the rattle. So I think if the door rattles, I think it's real. If, it's, if it doesn't, I think it's fake. Which doesn't make much sense. You'd think um, a fake door would rattle. Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. Um, so we mentioned at the start of the stream what happens if um, what happens if people knock on my door for trick or treating, given it's Halloween, and uh, I've got one of those smart doorbells, and I've just looked at my phone, and somebody was at the door about five minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, probably got egg at my uh, door now. Oops. I think oh, I haven't changed. You can I think you can change um, on that particular doorbell. I think you can change it to play like spooky sounds at this time of year. Oh, hello. Who's this? Oh, now hang on. I think I know what to do in here. Oh, I don't want that, do I? No. Um, I think I think I remember this actually. I think this is giving me a. Um, What? Get out, get out. I think, uh, for this particular special ghost, I think we've got to um, open the window. Or open the curtain. Isn't my hair just gorgeous? Of course! I do spend a lot of time on it. I was so bored cooped up in that painting. Now I spend all my time in front of a mirror. It seems to scare people though. So everything is coming up roses. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to just do that. And she gets a big draft. And then, here we go. <laughs> oh dear, such a draft. <laughs> I don't have any, uh, oh, poison shroom. Oh, damn. She got away. Well, that's all right. We'll just um, grab all the pearls. And open the window again. I don't think there's any penalty in having to uh, get her in one go. Or two goes. Another key. Another one. Uh, Logan says to, um, to uh, spin the fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's spin the fan. Does it still work now? Ooh. Come on. Is it not going to do it now that... Oh, there we go. Nice. All the monies. Come here, you. There we go. There's a toad out there. How do we get to him? Come back to your little fella. Oh no, that's the one that we saw before, isn't it? That's the one on the balcony we saw before, right. Um, everything in here, let's go. 
Hmm. Uh, which uh, which door did that open? The one. <gasps> this one. This one? Yeah, it's right one. Oh, you swines. Oh, there we go. A little baby. Mario. <laughs> Mario. Uh, what do we need? The um, there we go. Horsey, rocky horsey. Oh, well, this is obviously we're gonna rock the horse, then, aren't we? Oh yeah. Oh, oh. Oh dear. <gasps> Wanna play with me? Oh. Oh, hang on a minute. How do we trigger his... Oh my god, he's got like demon teddy bears. Get his heart. Do I rock the horse again? Oh, I know. I tell you what. I, I bet it's to do with this beach ball. Do I throw that at him? Yes. No. What? Ow! You gave me an owie. <laughs> I just wanted to play with you. I hate grown-ups. Why do you have to be bigger than me? I've had enough. Small! Now grow smaller! Small, itsy, tiny, little, wee! Ga ga goo goo ga! Oh dear. <laughs> I think this is like our first boss battle, isn't it? How do we, uh, how do we take this guy on? Is there another beach ball in the area? No. Let's just, uh, hang tight. Let's just try and avoid all the rocking horses. Oh, there we go! That's what we want. Oh, one of them's real. There we go, that one's real. And then... Aim and hit! Shine and suck. <laughs> What's going on? No! Missed my chance. But now I've made him angry. Oh, I don't need to use the torch then. I just need to suck. Okay. Well, I do. <laughs> Terribly. But oh, I need a beach ball again. Here we come. So one of them will be a real, genuine beach ball. There we go. Hoist and throw. And then up. Oh, there we go. There we go. I need to keep, um, like, Readjusting the control stick, don't I? It's fuming. Oh. <laughs> Stay away. What, walking horses? They're fast now as well. Oh, two at a time? Whoa! I wasn't ready for that. 
Uh, and there's the real one. Right, get that. Oh, go. Oh, damn. Maybe I'm adjusting it too much. Maybe I need to not adjust it so much. I'm trying to second guess these rocking horses. Bring on the balls! Oh! Damn it. Right, he's only got 22 HP now. Surely we can get him. All the way down to zero! Yeah! <laughs> Light is restored. Uh, is there anything else that I should be... Uh checking for in here. I should be in the habit of doing this before we finish the room reaction night. Anything in the light? Nah. Nah. Draws. Oh yeah, there we go, some help. Nice. Alright, what's in the chest? It's a big key! Fancy. Um, oh, incoming on the Game Boy Horror. Um, Luigi, can you hear me? Oh, thank goodness you're okay. I lost contact with you all of a sudden. I was tad worried. Uh, you seem to be a bit tuckered out after that long battle, don't you? Why don't you come on back to the lab? When you vacuum a boss ghost, your Poltergust 3000 gets pretty much full to bursting. Uh, but ho-ho, I guess you showed that boss ghost who's boss. Uh, but ho-ho, yes, yes, I did. <laughs> uh, good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Uh, take a gander at this. This fine piece of work took nearly 20 years to develop. I call it the Ghost Portrificationizer. This machine lets us turn the ghosts you catch into paintings. Not only that, it works in reverse, too. Um, how do we do it? You ask. Well, it's simple. Just plug the Poltergeist 3000 into that slot and enjoy the ride, my boy. So, uh, here we go. Time to turn those ghosts into portraits. It's like a giant washing machine for ghosts. I need to read more of the manual. That might be my homework. Uh, the ghosts are invisible. So we need to press them into visible forms. And presto, turn them into beautiful ghost portraits. Here they are. Hmm. Well, we managed to turn those ghosts back into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. You're welcome, Professor. Uh, so we've got Neville, Lydia, and Chauncey, the baby. Three ghosts, um, and we found 104 coins, 93 pieces of cash, and one gold bullion thing, uh, along with all those pearls. So we've already got a total of 4.73 million. Hang on a minute, didn't I have like seven point something in that save file that we had on the memory card already? Maybe I never did finish this game. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Uh, right, let's save. And uh, there we go. Where will we go, Luigi? Well, I'll tell you what. It's been a good taste, hasn't it, at the start of the game. Maybe we save, because this is a good place to save. And uh, we come back to this in episode two. Because uh, we're going to make this a full-on series, just because it's Halloween. Uh, doesn't mean we're going to just uh, drop this and run. Uh, no, we'll come back to this in a few weeks, I guess. And uh, in the next couple of weeks, and play some more Luigi's Mansion. Looking forward to it. And we'll find out what's going on next in the mansion. We've got this big pink key, so presumably it unlocks another door in there. 
plan out. Uh, that will be available at some point in the next couple uh, of weeks on the channel. Uh, keep your eyes peeled on the Tom Plays Games YouTube feed for that. Very good. Right, I play games every day. And uh, you're more than welcome to join me. This is what I've got coming up for you for the rest of this week into next week. So tomorrow, Aaron will be joining me for some Overcooked 2 tomorrow night at 9pm. Uh, we'll be serving up some more four-star finishes, all being well, at uh, 9 o'clock tomorrow night, UK time. Uh, Wednesday is uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe at quarter past five. We've got Theme Hospital on Thursday. Uh, Free Play Friday returns this Friday at quarter past five. And uh, going into next week, LEGO City Undercover will be on this time next week, quarter past five, Monday the 7th of November. Yeah, heck, it's November already, folks. It's November this week. Where is time going? It's crazy. Uh, if you have enjoyed things today, of course, don't forget to tap that thumbs up before you go to give this video a like and get subscribed to the channel for more like this. Each and every day, you've seen what's coming up for the rest of this week, so uh, get your notifications on, get subscribed, and then you'll get a little pop-up reminder whenever I pop up and uh, play games. Just like that. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually just reading the manual now for this game. How amazing, how amazing were manuals back in the day? Bring back the manual, I say. And uh, I think we've actually, we've had a look at this before. I think we played another game on the channel that had this in. This little guide to uh, all the games that were coming up on the GameCube at the time. Remember Pikmin! And Star Fox Adventures and Smash Brothers Melee. Ace. And then, and then I love this, this side has um, all the little uh, accessories you can get. So yeah, yeah, cool controller, the, uh, the GBA Link cable. But look at that. The SCART Adapter. Ooh. What a treat. RGB cable. Nice. Right. Um, yeah, that's it for today. More Luigi's Mansion in episode two of this series at some point in the next couple of weeks. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. Until then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all the next time when I play games. Bye.